welcome back to more Dark Souls. So, a lot has happened since the last episode. <laughs> we have a new weapon. There's a slime slowly nudging towards us. As you can see, we've got a claymore. It's huge. It's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> got some, some new digs. Wearing a little thief's outfit. That's mostly due to what we're about to be experiencing, which is Blighttown Hell. <laughs> so... I've got the stuff that has the best poison resistance I can get a hold of, and that's what I'm using right now. We also have Lightning Spear as a miracle, and we'll probably get to use it at least a couple times in the coming up little uh, exchange. So we are on our way to Blight Town. <laughs> this is happening. <laughs> oh boy. I've been dreading this. This. I've been dreading this quite a bit, actually. And you know what? Um, I put on some gold pine resin, some charcoal. And we're going to need... Um, do we have any? Oh, man, we don't have any. Oh, crap. Well, hopefully we pick up some... Some poison powder. Some, uh, some moss, some purple moss. So that we can um, nullify the effects of poison. Because that is going to be a big, big issue going forward. Oh, and also, um, like to invite you guys to decide what kind of miracles I'm going to go down the path of. So, as far as covenants are concerned, right now, right now, we are part of the um, the Sun Bros. <laughs> is what I call them. The, uh, the war Warriors of Sunlight. And basically that's the uh, the lightning. Throwing lightning bolts and stuff. So we can keep going, going down that path and just have lightning bolts to chuck at people. Or um, we could go with Gravelord Nito's sword dance. It's like death, kind of. Um, there's there's a lot of different ones you can go, go about with. So I invite you guys to pick a covenant you'd like me to get into. Other than any PvP focused <laughs> covenant, because I don't feel like going through the trouble of PvP and uh, especially on the channel, <laughs> it can be hit or miss. I I've noticed even from this that a lot of the PvP still has a lot of lag, so it's just it's not that enjoyable, honestly. So let me know what you guys think, what you guys want me to do, and I will do my best to oblige. We're also using the bandage shield we picked up in the, uh, the last episode. Really? You're not gonna... You know, let's check a lightning bolt at him. Oh man, that's a pretty big damage. Really? And as you can see, this does big poise damage, which knocks people back. So we just destroyed those, uh, those fatties. Okay, we gotta we have our shield up because not just these guys. Okay, so these guys are gonna be a little bit more trouble than I thought. Don't want to get grabbed by that. But the good thing about the claymores, we got that really wide arc that you saw. You can hit a lot of them. Damn. All right, one down. Two down. Jump. Oh, really? Gonna do the stab. He's down. Three down. Alright, we still got our Curse of the Evil Eye ring on. So isn't there a. Uh, there's something down there, but I think the ladder's over here next to this guy with the blowpipe. Now, the good thing is, once you kill one of the guys with the blowpipes, they don't come back. <laughs> so they stay dead. So he's he's dead now. And he gave us some purple moss. Oh, shit. Oh, this is how, uh... Yep. It's how nightmare start. Holy crap. <laughs> I don't know how we got out of that. That claymore, baby.
Wow. Was not expecting to live through that. Okay, this is going uh, a lot better than I expected. <laughs> I don't even remember what we're getting down here. I know there's something over here, but I don't remember exactly what it was. Oh, just, just some souls. I guess they are useful. Right now we are currently um, human, so we can get invaded. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> oh, that'd be really bad, actually. Right, we can go that way, or what I like to do. Oh God! It's my oh shit! Yeah, that almost ended really badly. Make a jump for it. We can get. I'm not even using. Uh, this isn't a Dex character, so do I even want it? That's a katana sitting on top of that uh, that, that building. And we got it. <laughs> I'm never going to use it, but we got it. Um, I'm trying to think which way to fall. I think that's closer, but I want to say there's more stuff down here. Screw it. Oof. Shit. Oh no! The ring kicked in. Pretty glad, glad that ring kicked in. Let's be super careful picking this up. Yes. Oh god. Really? What a dick. Wow. And he's gonna sit there and he's gonna try to throw me off. Thank you. Yeah, you're a piece of shit, just so you know. Because this is the only way up and over. Yeah, I'm not going to fall for that. We'll go elsewhere. See what I mean by PvP? He's just going to be a douchebag. So he's going to try to... to he, that uh, Iron Golem's axe that he has th shoots out like a... Um, like a wave. He's going to use it to try to knock me off. Really, dude? Awesome. And I can't frickin... Wow. Awesome. So, I curse him and all he lives by. Going to indict him and hopefully someone else will make his life miserable. Uh, I do hate the PvP in this. I like all the, the cooperative stuff, but I've always hated the PvP. <laughs> That's just me. Mostly because of crap like that. That guy is significantly ahead of me in level. The level cap system and the way that it works in this, and the way they're able to invade you, is not it's not fair. <laughs> so, whenever someone invades you, he's already like... 
like three or four bosses ahead of me. So just put that in perspective, how many more levels he probably has than I do. And it also goes by gear now, by what level your weapon is, and a bunch of other bullcrap. So I got invaded by somebody that has just better crap than I do. <laughs> so it sucks. <laughs> it sucks. It sucks a lot. And he has a kit built for this specific environment. So he has that damn iron golem axe, like you saw, that like just knocks you around on these little tiny bridges. Making him a um, what I would like to call a D-bag. That's that's his profession. We're gonna try to Get to where we were real quick. Guess we don't have to go that way anymore since uh, I got killed us. Select the, the moss that we've been getting. Purple moss. Only got two of them though, so we need to be liberal with our uses. Luckily. Oh man. Don't want to lose all my souls I have sitting over there. Luckily, all of our souls dropped right next to that bonfire. <laughs> so. And I have quite a few humanity stored up as well. Alright. The only thing is you just don't rush. Don't do any rushing. You'll be fine. just a sliver more damage and we'd be able to end these guys in one clean attack uh, combo. I mean, I guess we can do the one... Oh, damn it. Like that. That's actually pretty good. That's actually a pretty good combo. Yeah, we'll have to keep that one in mind. Bring it. Damn it. Take some more uh, health there. Yeah, our souls are waiting for us. <laughs> oh, yep, forgot those things moved. Oh, you bastard. Damn it. Here they come. Yes. So I guess that's going to be our combo. Three lights, one heavy. Um, we can... Can we just get that and then come back up? Because there's something else over here we can grab. Yeah, we can get back up. Pick up that. Before we go over there, let's get the rest of this stuff. There's a little hidden trinket over here. Not a lot of people actually get. Aha! Do a little roll. Ninja gear. <laughs> We're not going to be using it, but it's an option. Um, I want to say there's something else we can jump to. Maybe we just jump down. No, it's right here. Yeah. Let's 
large soul of a proud knight. We need to get to our, uh, our souls back there. This is where it's going to get a little, a little hairy. Oh, the dogs. They're like ag road right below us, aren't they? We could roll to that. Kind of afraid to, though. Got him. Yeah, I guess we go up and then we take that little path over there. It's probably our best. Nope. Oh, can't see anything. Oh, come on. Okay, that's not a good idea. Shit. Can't see anything. Oh, come on. Shit, camera. Let's hope he died. Yep, he did. I guess we are rolling to it. It's a little scary. a dog right there. Ah, shit. Those things hit so damn hard. And we're getting shot in the back. Okay. Well, he's got our souls back. Let's deal with these guys. Yes! Oh, thank God. Bonfire's lit. Um, did I see something down there? Yeah, there's something down there. Damn it. You know I'm gonna have to go for it. Shit. Um, let's go ahead and as much as I don't want to do this. Uh, yeah, I need it. I need the extra health. I need the extra flasks while we have the, uh, the humanity. Might as well. Back to ten flasks. I want to say no. We don't have quite enough to level up yet. It's going to respawn all of our enemies. That's the only part that I was a little hesitant about. So how do we get down there? Probably a ladder. Somewheres. I would think. You're moving? ladder up, it looks like. Maybe that maybe it goes back down. Oh you bastards. Nice trying. Got him. Let's see if we can uh, go up to go down. This guy's stuck in a jar. We don't want to let him out. Uh, is this one we just rolled? I think it was. I hate these people. 
We're not even in the like nasty swamp yet. I'm already dreading this. Yeah, that's where we came. You know what? I'll just circle back for anything I missed. You guys don't need to see all this crap. Okay, how the hell? So we just go back down that ladder. Right there, yeah. gonna be a yeah poison huh? two bastards dodging freaking Yes. Let's see if we can get that uh blow gun. Oh shit. Okay, well there's no way to get to him from right here. Unless we want to get to him make my life easier. What the hell is that? Oh, that was gross looking. Okay, am I not supposed to be up here? Probably not. Another large soul of a proud knight. That looks like a ladder. And there's uh, one of the insane villagers coming up it. Or not. Really? He's down. Can I drop down to that? Ah, it's got to be somewhere else. Way around up here. There's a little poison bastard. Well, he's gone. <laughs> Try ranged battle. Yeah, right. Oh, shit. Really? Dead. Get up out of the way. Eagle Shield. I don't think we're going to use Great Shields. Probably not. I, I like to use just a, a sturdy one-handed shield. Seem to get the mo most bane out of your buck. Especially since a lot of them have a lot of very unique properties. Uh, is there not like another... Don't know if I should roll to that. I'm not so sure about that. It looks sturdy. We're going back up. We got us uh, a blowgun. There's got to be a way to get over to that. That little section right there. Maybe there's another ladder. Yep. Oh, 
Oh, here comes another dick. Probably the same one. Yep, it's the same guy. <laughs> it's the same bastard. What an asshole, man. Oh, shit. Oh, this isn't looking good. Oh. Oh, there I go. <laughs> Welcome to Blight Town. That just happened. At least we killed the dark guy. We have ten flasks. It's always a plus. Who are those dogs back here? Oh, come on. Big hits. <laughs> Need to get our souls back, though. They're way the hell down there. Oh god, we're still dealing with that damn dark gun guy. your death, you crazy bastard. Oh, damn it. Alright. How, how the hell do we get down again? Let's go up here. Got him. Oh, that's so gross. There's something underneath it. We can't get to it yet, though. But we have... Made it down to our souls, and we can't get invaded since we're not alive. Technically. Oh, shit. Ow. Let's try to lure him uh, away from where he is. What happened last time? Yeah, this isn't gonna go over well. Uh huh. Well, at least he's gone. Come on, yeah, we need some backstabs. Got him. Thank God. Oh, yes. And we can get to that bastard with the blowgun up here. Oh. Alright, he's dead now. Body stuck on me. Anything else up here? Oh. Honestly, did not know this was up here. Pretty cool. Oh shit. I guess it's a little back way in. You know, let's go double-handed so that we can swing. Yeah. Yeah, that was smart. Why did I do that beforehand?
Oh. He's gonna come after us. Oh, come on. Yes. <laughs> hey. Okay, this thing's super gross. Let's uh let's throw some lightning bolts at it. Don't know how much damage we're doing. Let's just uh do some attacks then. Oh man. Just the lightning was uh doing a lot more than I thought it was. Sweet. Oh, it's Pyromancy. Power, man, Power Within is pretty good, too. Too bad we aren't a Pyromancer. Unfortunately. I do like Pyromancy. Throwing fireballs, all the cool stuff. Oh, it didn't lock on. Alright. We need to get down to that. There's the ladder. We could drop down even further. I think all it is is a whip, though. And if you mess up the, the angle, it's all over. So I don't think we're going to uh, go for that. I might come back for some of these items, though, if I think they're important. Is there, yeah, about to say, I'm pretty sure there's a ladder. We're getting eerily close to the boss, though. out of the hellscape that is the rafters and now there's these creepy looking bug things <laughs> that we need to kill a lot of them and they do big damage if they get any hits on you but we got them oh god oh I forgot about that and there's a blow dart guy. Fantastic. Where's the ladder at? Right there. Don't see it. So worried about that damn dude, the blow gun. Yeah, it's right there. I'll be taking hits. Okay, good. Dead. Bastard. Oh, the Wanderer gear. I honestly I prefer the Wanderer gear to the Thief's gear. Let's see if it uh it first off it looks cooler. The poison resist isn't as good though. <laughs> so we'll leave this on at least oh god, there's the mosquitoes. At least for uh for for you know while we're down here. And then we'll take it off and uh, put on some of the uh, the cooler looking gear. You guys tell me what you want me to wear, though. And if it's feasible, <laughs> a.k.a. if it uh, doesn't weigh me down too much, I'll go ahead and do it. Get some, some, cool, some cool cosplay going. I don't want to kill Slayer, though. I know we had somebody ask for, you know, hey, why don't you be just like Slayer? We're kind of we're getting there, but to get his outfit, you have to kill him. And I, I like him too much to do that. Chaos bugs. Probably some kind of demons. Which, in Dark Souls lore, is. They, the lore is pretty awesome, honestly, as far as like the monsters and how. what, where they're at in position to the, to the levels and all that kind of stuff means about everything else. <laughs> We're eerily close to the. Uh, to the. Um, the place chaos kind of spawned from in the Dark Souls universe, which is aka demons, essentially. That's the best way to put it. And demons doesn't mean like uh not like a like a you know it's not like hell or anything like that. They're just like a different almost race, I guess. I really do want to get that since it's over here. I won't be getting everything in the Hell Swamp, <laughs> but I'll be getting quite a bit. 
as you can see, we can barely walk. And we will be getting poisoned a lot. Oh, damn mosquitoes. And the mosquitoes infinitely spawn while you're down here. That's always fun. Large soul of the proud knight. Ooh, I see another one. Oh, bastard mosquito. I forgot about you. Yeah, that blood flying towards me is a mosquito. It's super gross. Oh, there's the, uh... There's the bonfire. Hell yeah. Light that, baby. And before we go any further... Once again, we have all this humanity. got some more. I don't even know how the hell this body got here. Okay, good. Gotta check them. <laughs> you guys haven't seen one of those yet, I don't think. But, uh, you will. Oh, see the damn mosquitoes. Go and rest. We will go ahead and become human again. Hopefully, not give, get invaded by anybody. <laughs> we'll even kindle this bonfire because we're going to need the Estus flasks. Definitely. Oh, I should probably uh, repair my equipment while I'm here. already people's names popping up. Like I said though, we're not going to, the only people we're going to summon are NPCs. So. There's more, I see the gear just laying over there. I want it. I really want it. I want to go run over there and get it. later on that will let us actually walk like normal in the swamp and it'll be a, a big boon to our efforts. I gotta get that, that damn, it's gonna bug me. It's just sitting right over there. I don't even remember what it is, but I want it. Is that a leech? There's a leech over there. Oh, they're disgusting. Now, there is a little secret area if we keep going that direction. And uh, maybe I'll show it to you guys um, later. Right now, we're a little under leveled <laughs> to go over there. But. We'll go over there. We'll check it out. Eventually. Pro mostly because there's actually a miracle over there that I do want to uh, get my hands on. Um, let's see here. We are human, right? Yeah, we are. Usually, an NPC invades you right here. For some reason, it's not happening, though. Because that's how you're able to summon her for this fight. I'll try resting at the bonfire one more time. If not, we're going in. <laughs> so... You can actually level up. 
dumping some more points into faith. Getting that faith way up there. Should incle increase the damage for our... Um, what you call it? For our uh, lightning bolt spell. Or miracle. I keep calling them spells. They're miracles. How dare I blaspheme in such a way. Um, that's a shortcut for later. So I guess we're, we're, we're doing this, doing it to it. Probably going to take some pretty bad damage on the way up. As you can see, there's giant guys with, uh, with huge rocks. They're going to come after us. Do our best to avoid them. They throw boulders and roll them after you. I think we avoided them for the most part. There's Maneater Mildred. That's the one I was looking for. <laughs> and I'm over here. Oh. She's gonna like run all the way over here. Okay, let's take her on. Bring a man eater, Mildred. Probably gonna mess her up. As you can see, she's naked and crazy. Yeah, we're gonna do big damage to her. She almost got me, though. got our butcher's knife if we want to use it which it actually is pretty dang good let's see if her sign shows up if it doesn't show up all homeward and then we'll uh, redo this because I really want her for this fight it's gonna make it a lot easier a lot easier I will cure myself. There she is. Oh, you're just some random dude. Okay, so she's here. So we are going to cure our poison. Um, I guess we'll go ahead and cure this. I'm going to get a gold pine resin on the up and up. Uh, summoner. Maneater Mildred coming in. Yes, Mildred. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And she is way more of a tank than you than she looks. Which we log. Let's get away from her. Okay, she's huge, but Mildred's gonna tank a lot of this for us. Oh man, that's just big damage. That does really big damage. Well, this is actually gonna be a lot easier than I thought. <laughs> We're doing huge damage to her with our lightning bolts. <laughs> Oh no. I'm in the animation. Oh, yeah, there. Ah. Get your shield up. Like I said, Mildred is tanking it. Oh, we're doing huge damage to her. 
<laughs> we're gonna kill her with lightning bolts. <laughs> that is freaking awesome. That is, man, we might be a little overpowered, guys. <laughs> Maybe just a little bit. We didn't even need the help. That's crazy. Mm-mm. Well, shit. Uh, I was expecting a harder fight, to be honest with you. And there's the second bell. We'll have some trouble there, though. <laughs> I, heard, I can already tell. I guess you recognize this place. Mm. <laughs> uh, Blight Town did not uh, end up being as bad as I thought it would be. But before we go, before we end the episode, there is something I want to show you guys down here. Something, I mean, it's, I mean, it's, it's relatively well known, but there's still, there's a lot of people that don't, uh, don't realize it's here. There is actually a hidden wall. Is it right here? It's one of these right here. And there's another bonfire in here. You can actually talk to this guy. Are you a new servant? Just say yes. <laughs> you have no eggs. No matter. Go along and have audience with our fair lady. I pray that you will mind your manners. And this is why I always take the old witch's ring as a starting gift. So this guy actually, um, what is it? I think you have to be in the Covenant. Okay, we got the bonfire. But as you can see, this is the Fair Lady. With the Witch's Ring, you can actually talk to her and hear what she says. For instance, let's, uh, let's take it off. You get nothing. But put it back on what is it? I, I kind of murdered Quelog sorry <laughs> but you can get into her covenant with her or you can um, she can reinforce Estes flax because she is technically a fire keeper this is also where you can run into uh, Dark Knight Kirk get his gear if you complete all of his um, invasions so boom just like that and that is going to be it for this episode guys it was kind of a quick one honestly I did not expect to blaze my way through Blight Town that easily <laughs> and or <laughs> kill Quelag so easily but I promise the game will get harder. It always does. <laughs> so, as usual, guys, I have been Jumbo Thick. Thank you very much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you all in the next episode. Have a good day. <laughs>